hi what is good beautiful divine alchemist welcome back to another video of mine my name is iris and i am the womb alchemist okay i hope everyone is enjoying this full moon and taurus energy um i know i am uh, i believe it is an eclipse as well and i always feel like just resting on eclipses at least this one and the past one um yeah i always feel like resting on the eclipse and kind of just like reflecting i don't know how you guys feel but definitely follow um whatever resonates with you in terms of like how to handle um the different moon cycles okay because tapping into the moon is definitely important but uh, you have to understand what is meant for you what's not meant for you at different different given times okay um so yeah just shuffling the cards here and gonna see what kind of energy comes out um i know a lot of different people watch this channel because um i'm getting a lot of different readings like such a wide array of readings um come to me like messages i channel so many different situations and that's what's telling me that so many different people are watching this channel which is great okay um but yeah please like share comment please let me know how it's resonating and most importantly subscribe okay without further ado let's get into the reading okay dang we got the four of wands here in reverse Okay, that's what is starting out the energy of the reading here. Okay, we got the world card to the death. Alright, somebody's definitely ending out a cycle here. Okay, it could have been a relationship here. Um, I'm getting more of like a contract, a soul contract here is coming to an end. Somebody has completed it. Um... I'm getting here that it is a relationship, whoever it is that you have a relationship with here, okay? You have done what you're supposed to do in terms of the relationship, okay? Whatever the contract has stated, you know, this proverbial spiritual contract has stated that you need to do, okay, while on this 3D plane with whoever in, you're in this relationship with, a friend, family member, a lover, okay? You have completed it beautifully, all right it might have been that you are here to bring about a rebirth for this person uh, a transformation of some sorts okay and you you have done that you've done that you've completed this cycle successfully all right you have also been enlightened this person has been enlightened and that was that was the whole point was for this person to um yeah to see where they needed to change and that change is happening okay five of pentacles in reverse here just came out okay um yeah this person finally realizes not the error of their ways but um that they don't want to be left behind this person might have felt like damn life is passing me by while I'm still stuck in the same place, okay, yeah, I'm, I, what I'm seeing is like, they're, they're seeing people move away around, for, away from them, move on from them, okay, not just you, but like other people in their lives, and this person is like, hey, I can't be the only one who's not moving, okay, because the only thing that's stagnant is something that's dead, so this person is like, all right, I, I need to start my rebirth cycle this person could have been really stubborn and not wanting to yeah with the hangman at the bottom of the deck this person could have been really stubborn not wanting to make the necessary changes but finally you and the universe have gotten through to this person at least uh what i'm getting is like this person could be in the beginning stages of their rebirth transformation okay um they probably went through a really dark period of time okay they could have been really financially unstable emotionally unstable um 
the relationships that they've had with people are crumbling and or being brought to light in terms of like them not having the relationships that they wanted or them seeing that the relationships that they have are based on toxicity okay um so this this person probably had a really hard time and now they have probably got their ass whooped so much by the universe that they're ready <laughs> they're ready to finally um move forward okay and do what they've been avoiding trying to avoid at least doing which is um yeah having a rebirth okay so six of cups at the bottom of the deck to the five of swords this person is very used to what i feel like is this person is a liar a manipulator okay this person is used to using other people for what they have in order to elevate themselves okay this person is very selfish they don't care who they hurt they don't care who they step on they just when they when they want something they go for it and they don't care how they get it okay including hurting themselves okay they will use their body their uh their mind to to strategically get whatever it is that they want okay this person is really sharp this person actually is very gifted in terms of intelligence however they've been using it in a way that um that's just not like he, this person just doesn't have the morals okay the value system all right they've been using their gifts to get what they want and hurting other people in the process okay so they you know god has given them gift and they're using the gift against god basically okay um and god has given this person chance after chance after chance after chance so um yeah and 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 finally the universe was like nah no more you're not gonna do this shit no more um so so yeah um this person has been through a lot in the past as well. Their childhood is really significant here. Okay. They've, they've been through cycles, like these different cycles of, um, these different cycles, okay, of just repeating the same, like, you know, getting in relationships, trying to get what they want out of the person, then discarding them when they don't want them or need them anymore, okay? And doing that over and over and over and over and over again. So, um, so yeah, this, this person finally wants out, okay? And that's because the universe whooped that ass, all right? Emperor at the bottom of the deck, nine of cups have come out it's something that has to do with this person's father okay something about the father is relevant all right i feel like this person's father has been through the same cycles here like this person's father has also like this person has this person's father has had a lot of relationships okay this person watched their father go through a lot of relationships but still end up alone okay i'm getting that this person sees that their father has an imbalance okay whether it's mental um like a mental imbalance here but uh this person's father they see that this that that their father never went through any change and they've just kind of stayed like in this in this weird energy that um you know this cycle that just continues and they they see that, they, that their father is broken okay like the I don't know how to put it into words, but with the Knight of Pentacles here, like their father has been in this cycle for a really long time. And it's kind of like a mirror, right? This person's father is like a mirror to them. Okay, this, their per this person's father is still in that energy at whatever age this person's father is, is in. But this person is deciding to change whatever their age, whatever they're at in their life at this moment. Okay? wow 
yeah so this person could be like really cold and detached um and and this person keeps it that way and they've been like that for a really long time it allows them to manipulate and see people as objects tools to get what they want rather than like actual people to love and care about and foster community with okay so i, I feel like this person learned this behavior from their paternal figure all right but um but yeah now this person is wanting to change okay they want to open up their heart they want to stop being so uh conniving deceitful um so cold they they want these they want a steady relationship a friendship uh you know even when it comes to lovers they they want to stop using their sword okay this this sword that the king of swords is is holding here they want to stop using that sword to sever relationships okay because they know they now know that they're the ones who are the cause of of them cutting off this relationships or their relationships ending you know yeah and and one person in particular okay this queen of cups here can you guys see her this queen of cups here is the catalyst okay the amount of passion that this person has for this queen of cups is bringing bringing this person to the realization that they need to um to transform you could be this queen of cups okay divine feminine or you could be this person who is in this energy of uh transforming okay but nine of wands here this queen of cups her her kindness her her love her um genuine pure love for this person has um has stirred something within within this person like within this uh person who keeps who's who's in in the midst of a transformation okay um it's it all has to do with this queen of cups here it could be uh, a mother it could be a sister it could be a lover okay but it's definitely a divine feminine here okay this person this queen of cups i feel like it's a relationship like like get lover vibes seven of cups here is telling me that this queen of cups um was everything that this person wanted and more like not in this person's wildest dreams that they thought that they could be with someone who genuinely loved them so much okay um like this queen of cups made it so i'm getting like pisces energy you know how um the sign of pisces is all about like bringing a fantasy to life like a lot of pisces people what they do in relationships especially if you have venus and pisces what they do is they study you and they see what makes you tick um they see what you want in a partner and they become that okay um that's what that's what pisces do and some of them do it in, in a negative way like you know wearing a mask and being fake but when you when pisces people do it uh at the most at the highest level right at the highest the, the best most highest vibrating level what they do is they try to understand their partner in a way that they can bring out parts of themselves because they love so deeply right that's what pisces about is about unconditional love they love you so deeply that they want you to have the, the most wonderful experience that you can and not in a fake way okay um so yeah and this person's not with them anymore okay they are in such they are so sad this person is devastated okay devastated that they're not with this queen of cups anymore because queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this person was so nurturing to them so loving to them so stable this person brought stability to their life okay this person showed them a lifestyle, a way of life that they had never seen before, okay? 
yeah and this person like i'm even getting that this person could like remind them of of a nurturing mother motherly figure and that's what um they really liked about um about this queen of cups as well okay um i'm getting that there was also uh one of the reasons why this relationship ended okay because this relationship did end and they're devastated about it is because people were in their ear people people were in this person's ear okay giving them information lies lies okay um because they were jealous they were they there was people around this person who would tell this person lies or you know just say stuff to this person that would that would cause this person to be in an energy of oh this you know this queen of cups is putting on a facade she's just like everyone else i've ever been with you know because it was first of all it was hard for this person to really let their guard down and actually see that this queen of cups was genuine and then at the same time people people i feel like people peeped that people saw that people who were jealous okay and even in competition with this person they saw that and they used this person's insecurities against them okay so they painted a picture for this person and made them believe that this uh queen of cups was actually um against this person okay and they caused drama in this relationship they caused uh instability in this relationship okay because the people around them they wanted this person to move on okay six of uh swords at the bottom of the deck they wanted this person to move on so that so that they could have the queen of cups honestly they had people around them waiting for this person to mess up so that they could come in and be with the queen of cups okay Mm -hmm. can't make this shit up yep i'm telling you okay they um these people in this person's ear pushed this person to start a brand new beginning without this queen of cups and leave her lonely vulnerable sad okay so that they could come in and take king of pentacles here so that they could come in and take this uh, take this person's spot okay wow that is crazy that is so sad yeah they wanted him to start a brand new beginning okay they wanted him and i'm getting that this person was very very vulnerable sexually like um you know this this person who's who's transforming right now in the past he or even now he he might be controlled by his sexual urges okay and that was also used against him as well so he was urged by his i don't know friends family people around him in his environment to ditch this queen of cups okay and to go to go so so his royal oaths or whatever go have sex with other people okay just to put this this queen of cups in this five of cups energy which is like sadness despair all right and people because people wanted his spot here they wanted his seat they wanted his throne okay they could see the queen of cups was somebody who was regal somebody whose love was sincere Okay, but this person couldn't see it because he had been he so traumatized in his life. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing that he did. He did go have a new beginning. All right. And this person was much more stable with this, uh, with this Queen of Cups as well. Okay, with this King of Pentacles here. Yeah. King of Cups in reverse, okay? King and Queen of Cups here, they are a um, they are a couple, but this masculine is coming out as the 
king of cups because um his his love his love was not sincere if he loved her at all even okay he what i'm getting is like he's kind of the the oh, the weak link in their relationship he was easily led astray okay so he invested in other things he invested in friends family anything besides this queen of cups okay he didn't have real love for her even though he was pretending to okay so yeah he invested he made investments in other people and he um he listened to other people more than he did this queen of cups okay yeah he walked away eight of cups he walked away the chariot but <laughs> little did he know was he was walking away okay the, this chariot landed right here in this death he was walking away straight into his demise okay and when i say demise i just mean that god had planned okay god was watching all of this happen okay but god had planned for this person to walk straight into divine intervention a rebirth moment a transformation okay because he this up until this point this person had not wanted to transform okay this person wanted to stay in this low vibrational energy as long as possible because transforming for some people is just too hard that's just it is what it is some people would rather stay low vibrational than actually change okay so uh little did he know that this was god's plan okay putting this queen of cups in his life putting these friends in his life okay he was supposed to leave this queen of cups okay even though she was one of his greatest blessings he was supposed to leave her okay because god didn't if they had stayed together then this queen of cups would have gotten uh would have would have had residual you know what i'm saying she would have had to experience him in his dark night of the soul during his rebirth and things can get really ugly during that time so god was sparing this queen of cups that's why he allowed for them to be separated so that this um so that this person could have their rebirth far 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 away from this queen of cups so she wouldn't have to see all of the weird nasty sad shit that's going on with this person okay um because she's she's very innocent okay her heart is pure and she didn't really deserve any anything that happened okay um so she, yeah god took took this person far away allowed him to move on without her and whooped that ass okay to where she couldn't see his ass getting whooped okay and and now he's on the verge of a rebirth all right yeah so now um this person um mm, this person okay the one who's getting who's going through a rebirth now his goal is to actually come back to the queen of cups here okay and he wants to he wants to come back to her though because he wants to have a victory all right there's there's some like silent competition some type of silent game that this uh masculine is playing with this um with this with this queen of cups here okay he wants to trick her not okay not trick her but he wants to get her back in a relationship okay for his own reasons not really because he wants to love her and care for her and treat her like the queen that she is it's some something he's still he's still in his past energy okay this is he's just on the cusp of a transformation okay Th these are the beginning stages of his transformation however he's still in that energy that he's always been in so he wants to reignite reconcile this relationship for his own personal reasons okay and it's mostly has to do with looks all right six of wands at the bottom of the deck it's mostly about the way things look right now he wants to save face all right he wants his friends family whatever to see that um 
you know, he has the power or, you know, he has the upper hand or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, he he wants to give with this page of wands here, he wants to give the um, the impression that with this ten of swords at the bottom of the deck that he is the one who allowed her back in like she begged him to come back to him and he just so graciously allowed her um to to come back because she was just so devastated without him her life was crumbling around her without him so he did her a favor right when in reality he is the page of wands here really immature I mean, yeah, Page of Wands. He's really immature, okay? Child, child, thinks like a child, okay? Very childish, all right? That's why he ended things with this Queen of Cups here. That's why he betrayed her in the first place, okay? Yeah, because he is very childish. Wow. Yeah, very insecure here, King of Wands. Oops. It came out in the reverse, actually. King of Wands in the reverse here. Okay, somebody who, uh, you know, is is not ready to mature. Just wants to party, go out, have sex. Um, it's just kind of reckless type of energy. Not really confident. Okay, um, you know, King of Wands to the to the Page of Wands here. Okay, um, this Queen of Cups. Or, also got news that this person was being sexually reckless okay this queen of cups she got cheated on that's what it is he he and and it might have been happening for a long time but she got word that he had been cheating on her okay i felt like with multiple people okay this person is very sexually reckless uh he has issues with uh like i said with the ace of wands he has he has issues with being able to discipline himself sexually okay and that's one of the things that he has to change about himself with this death card here is that um he needs to become more sexually um disciplined all right and that because it also stems from trauma <sighs> yeah so that yeah uh, he's being blocked though from being in her being in a relationship here because he has he has to make a decision all right he's not allowed to pursue a relationship with this queen of wands unless he changes okay two of swords here um he has a decision to make he's at a crossroads right now all right and like i said he's at the beginning stages with the devil at the bottom he's at the beginning stages of um, his transformation and with the devil at the bottom here what I'm really feeling is that there are so many entities attached to this person because this person allows himself to be wide open okay spiritually physically uh, mentally this person is wide open to uh, low vibrational uh, people places and things okay and entities Okay, they like feeding off of this person. Like, there's so many wands in this spread. This person have has a lot of emotions, a lot of passion, a lot of energy, and a lot of sexual uh, energy as well. And these entities like feeding off of this person. So the reason why it's been so hard for him to transform is because so many entities are benefiting from him being in low vibrational energy. All right? So even now, even though that God is whooping his ass Okay, and I'm talking about this person is receiving karma, karma, all right? And still this person is resistant to this, this person is stubborn as hell, all right? Because these entities, oh my God, literally, literally with the strength card, this person is stubborn as hell, all hell, okay? Because it's been years, this person could be well past their Saturn return and still not finding the strength to change but God God's hand is very strong when he when he spanks you he gonna spank
spank your spirit out of your body you know when god spanks you your spirit every spank your spirit's gonna just jump out of your body okay that's how hard god is spanking him right this person needs to find the strength the courage the bravery to um uh, to go through with this transformation this time because this is one of the last times that if not the last time that god is going to give this person okay like god already knows what's going to happen but um this is this person's opportunity last opportunity to change okay this person needs to do a lot of self-work here okay but what i'm also getting is that this person loves distracting themselves okay these entities are distracting this person okay every time this person gets to the point where they're like all right i'm gonna do the the shadow work to be able to move forward entities put a distraction in this person's face and he, and he is so easily um taken by it okay they put sex in this person's face he's gonna go for it they put alcohol in this person's face they're gonna go for it a party uh you know friends anything right this person would rather do anything than actually do the work here okay with the eight of pentacles but um yeah the time time is ticking okay the clock is running out all right yeah so this person is um i feel like this person's feeling a, a lot of boredom okay a lot of sadness oh but also yes this is this card is reiterating what i was saying okay four of cups in reverse this is one of the last chances god is offering uh this this last opportunity for this person to face their fears here with the with the moon card oops the moon card at the bottom okay this person has issues with facing their fears okay they're afraid of themselves they're afraid of their own reflection because of all the shit that they've done in their lives it's horrible they know what they've done okay they know that they've you know hurt really hurt innocent people i can't make this shit up okay they know that they've hurt really innocent people to get what they want they're extremely reckless okay knight of swords to the ten of swords this person is extremely reckless okay they will step over anyone and anyone and they have done that before okay queen of swords though but this queen of cups they can't do that to her okay they they found not their match but somebody who's more advanced than them okay at first she was the queen of cups but now she is the queen of swords here and you see the ace of pentacles i don't know when that flipped over but the ace of pentacles is you know spirit wanted me to see that and ace of pentacles was giving this person an opportunity before this queen of cups turned into the queen of swords okay queen of cups is nice kind giving okay but the queen of swords she got boundaries that you can't cross healthy boundaries okay but she gonna swing that sword at you if you try her so um yeah when this when this divine feminine was in the queen of cups energy that was god's way of saying okay here's your opportunity to reflect that okay you be kind, be nice, do good. Here's your opportunity. But now she is the queen of swords and he still has to do right by her. But now it's harder if you get what I'm saying. Okay. So, um, so yeah, this person has to. Yeah. So what this person has to do is this person has to tell the truth. Okay. Because the divine has been waiting seven of pentacles the divine has been waiting this queen of cups has been waiting uh you know his ancestors his guides everyone's been waiting for him to tell the truth ace of swords here okay this is his opportunity ace of pentacles to have a new beginning to redeem himself okay so knight of swords here okay this person needs to come in quickly and be honest and tell the truth about what it is that he's done behind this queen of cups back okay because he's done a lot what what's been actually going on in his mind all right because this person's not fulfilling their contract all right they came down here to earth to have this rebirth to have this transformation but they've been stalling so much okay because the, the truth is hard sometimes when you've done a lot of shit in your life and you can't even look yourself in the eye in the mirror 
it's hard to tell the truth especially to someone that you've done shit that it's embarrassing it's shameful okay there's all these emotions that come up when he thinks about telling the truth to this um to this queen of cups because he essentially he's never taken his mask off before nobody's ever seen what this person really looks like okay people have seen different masks that he puts on but no one really knows what he looks like under that mask and he's afraid to be that vulnerable to show somebody what he actually looks like even though this queen of cups has been nothing but nothing she's she's always shown this person that she will accept him for who he is and that he never has to hide no matter what because he's told her and he's done some gruesome things don't get it wrong this queen of cups has seen him do some fucked up shit okay and still shows him unconditional love and care but he just can't bring himself to believe that this person really exists okay that this person really can love him unconditionally even when she sees the real him okay um yes Ooh, that energy is heavy as shit okay yeah he needs to let his guard down here nine of wands in reverse okay i'm i'm getting that this person has an interesting way of thinking okay this person has a really interesting way of thinking and the average person might think like god damn you're fucked up in the head but this queen of cups is equipped okay that's that's her role here on earth is being able to handle whatever this person has to tell her okay so he he is safe letting his guard down okay to her all right because she's a soulmate of his now that doesn't mean that you know they have to be together they could be but she's a soulmate of his and they've been through stuff in past lifetimes okay um he he likes he likes this uh soulmate a lot and she likes him too because he brings out something in her that nobody else seems to bring out but also she is a tough cookie he likes a challenge okay that's what i'm getting through lifetimes he chooses to go toe to toe with this queen of cups in different lifetimes because he she gives him a run for her money because her intuition is so on point he loves the challenge okay it's like a it's like an exercise for him in his mind it's a little sadistic okay he's he's coming off as a little sadistic but he likes this um like this spanking that he gets from trying to outsmart her and getting fucked up every time he likes it and it's sadistic and don't don't ask me because i don't understand it but i accept it okay because this is what the energy is i'm not trying to understand it i just accept it for what it is okay some people like what they like okay but they are soulmates and they do know each other from past lifetimes all right but this lifetime um is is, a, is very monumental for this person because this lifetime uh god and his ancestors his guides are asking him that's a lot of cards i'm not going to take that are asking him to have a transformation okay but he he likes this energy and that's why he's um that's why he's stalling it's because he he likes this energy he thrives in it yes he his soul is dark okay he has a dark soul okay moon, oh, sorry supposed to cover the, the naked bodies but moon card here okay three of cups yeah this person thrives in dark energy this is this is their soul might this person's soul might even come from a really dark place you know and and god is light and dark god is duality and everything in between everything comes from god even the devil comes from god okay and uh you know dark energy doesn't isn't synonymous with bad okay um but what i'm trying to say is like because there wouldn't be there wouldn't be light without dark period all right so us light workers we have to love and love and accept dark 
energy does that mean we do dark things or we do bad things to people no that's not what i'm saying but what i'm saying is it takes one to know one to be a light worker you have to have experienced darkness in some way shape or form okay whether it was done to you or you have gone to places in your mind that are dark okay but the difference between light workers and dark workers is that light workers we have we have been to dark places in our mind but we have the strength to come out of it all right dark people who thrive in the dark they enjoy that energy so they don't want to come out of it but he's now being called to face his fears and come out of that dark energy okay um yeah yeah he's literally celebrating loving this dark energy okay um eight of swords here okay i feel like he needs to prove that he's not trapped in this energy that he's not addicted it's not that he can't um enjoy darkness okay in a healthy way but it's like when it becomes uh, an addiction when it starts trapping you and keeping you from moving forward, that's when it it becomes uh, alarming or like, yeah, when it when it gets in the way of your success here, okay? Because because some people are really good at balancing um, like different types of energies, but when you're only thriving in one energy and you can't come up out of it, okay, um, then then you start getting stuck and that's never good, okay? So um you know it's either it's either you're going to be successful or you're going to be trapped in this energy and um this is his chance this the, his one chance okay that god is giving him and i really feel like you know everyone has free will and however long any of us have in this lifetime is however long we have to get it right okay we can always revisit lessons any at any point in our lifetime however i really do feel like it's do or die at this moment okay it's either you're trapped where you are or you have success you have victory and you're able to move forward okay and connect with your higher self because right now uh this person is really in their low energy Okay, um, this person needs to take a look at the way that their mind works in terms of uh, their deceitful, cheating ways. Okay, this person has a real issue with being dishonest. Okay, maybe even being a habitual liar. And being a habitual liar has gotten them really, really in some predicaments. Okay, <laughs> literally with the Ten of Swords here. It's, um, you know, they've stabbed people in the back with, with their lies, but also they have been um in situations where they have gotten the short end of the stick because of their lies okay and their 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 dishonest ways okay they're they're too strategic this person is too strategic and they get caught up in their own mess that's what i'm getting and then people end up leaving them and then they're like wow, why do people leave me? I don't have any friends. Nobody likes me. Yeah, it's because you're not genuine. You're so strategic. People can see that. People aren't dumb. This person has a um, a God complex where they think that they're the most intelligent being in the world. Like, no, you're not. People can see through you and people have seen through you. And that's why people are like, all right, I'm gonna leave this person where they at because it's a lot. It's a lot to have to keep, constantly keep your guard up around somebody. People don't want to do that. People don't want to make friends with people that they have to constantly keep their guard um, up around that might stab them in the back, that might betray them. Okay, nobody wants that. And if you've attracted people to you um, that do that to you, it's because you guys are on the same frequency, on the same vibration. Once you raise your vibration, okay, literally, with the fool to the three of swords, once you raise your vibration, then um, you won't be attracting people like that anymore, okay? This is your, like, the lover's card is giving me a gateway, all right? It's, it's like, this is your, the portal is opening up for you, okay, to be, to be able to raise your vibration. You can go from the three of swords, okay? You have to release three of swords to the full card you have to release this is the gateway here sorry the gateway here okay you have to walk in between uh these two pillars and, and, and go through this uh transformation 
okay, by way of this portal in order to raise your vibration, okay, from being really bogged down, uh, trapped, stuck, stuck, <laughs> stuck, stuck to free, light as a feather, that's what I'm getting here, my eye, okay, your heart, oh my god, literally, bruh, three of swords to the full card, okay, you see how she's so carefree, so, um, you know, she knows she's divinely protected and guided, she doesn't have to worry about anything, she's the fool, she's innocent, okay, and the three of swords here, my eye, she's telling you to, uh, I'm getting chills, the universe is telling you that you need to make your heart as light as a feather because you're really weighed down right now and you don't need to be. It's all in your head. Okay, you are creating your reality. You are extremely powerful. You are a gifted person, period. Because God doesn't help out just anybody like this. Like God is personally seeing, like help helping you see this through. For some reason, <laughs> for some reason, God wants you to succeed okay which means you are going to succeed but there's still free will okay there's still a small chance because you have free will that you know that things might not go the way that they're planned okay it's very com complicated that the, god's energy and plans are very complicated okay god ultimately knows what's going to happen but we still have free will which can change our destiny all right so um so yeah walk through this portal with bravery okay knowing that yes that you are going to heal okay God is saying that you are going to heal and the key to your healing is this passion that's burning for this queen of wands, okay? Take this passion for this queen of wands and put it to good use, okay? You have a lot of emotions for this person. Not only are you attracted to her, but you love her deeply, okay? You love her so deeply that it's touching your soul, Okay, this unconditional love is literally healing you, whether or not you and her are together right now, whether or not you and her are speaking. Okay, the love that she has bestowed upon you, has, that she has shown you, is literally healing you and helping you physically, spiritually, mentally. Okay, so take this momentum. Okay, you're, you're on a roll. Okay, you're going down this path. You're moving. Okay, you have obstacles overcome those obstacles have laser focus okay and use this energy from this queen of wands okay this the queen of cups queen of wands use that energy that you have for her in, in order to propel you to the goal of renewing yourself okay yes okay page page of cups to the judgment here Oh, uh, wow. Some decisions that, that, um, yeah, so your mother, the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, your mother has played a crucial role, um, in where you are at right now, okay? You have taken on the pain, your mother's pain, in some way. Okay, your mother has a very, she still has a very um, prominent, a very prominent role in your life here. Okay, she she babies you a lot. Okay, she still treats you like a child. Your mother, she might be a single mother, with this queen of pentacles here, but your mother babies you a lot. She still sees you as a child. She still treats you as if you can't make your own decisions, as if you can't live your own life, as if she still has to constantly tell you what to do, how to do it, where to do it, who to do it with. Okay, this this it, it's stunting your growth. Your mother is stunting your growth and she is honestly giving you bad advice. 
okay whatever she's doing okay she's holding on to you real real tight okay and it's 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 kind of weird it's giving me weird vibes honestly yeah um i don't even want to go there but just know it's giving me like really weird vibes okay it's giving me like 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 she wants to be your wife or something like deep down inside she wants to be i don't know i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but um but yeah she's trying to control you and, and keep you in a childlike mind she's trying to keep you immature so that you don't get hip to what she's doing okay um and i don't even know if she knows what she's doing it could be because she's gone through some type of trauma herself but um what she's doing is, is she's keeping you like i don't want to offend anyone here but this is what i'm hearing she's keeping you in a it's a it's the r word okay in a like a like a, a, a she's keeping you i don't want to offend anybody okay this is what i'm hearing she's keeping your okay i'm gonna say this she's keeping your brain from fully developing okay um because she knows that she can manipulate you in this in this uh way and what i'm getting is that she emotionally ma manipulates you as well okay it's it's through emotions that she she plays with your emotions okay like a puppet like a puppet string okay she wants you here you see this queen of cups here she wants you here like this bunny rabbit always by her side okay and she can't keep you by her side if you're if you actually have a healthy loving relationship if you if you actually mature into a man that is fit to be a husband and you actually go and find a wife who deserves you and you continue to live on your life she can't emotionally manipulate you anymore because then you'll be listening to your wife okay if that makes any sense so uh your mother is keeping you from from making good decisions in your life okay and this has been happening for a long time ever since you've been a child okay something about your innocence is important here your innocence was taken away from you from a really early childhood okay i don't know if your family like what your family is into if your family is into the occult or your family got some secrets all right like you got a family of like <laughs> witches or some shit like that that's what that's really what i'm getting it's like you have a family of people who know how to manipulate energy and um they took away your innocence and made you dependent from a really from a really early age okay they played they, they fucked with your mind they they played with your mind not just your mom but other family members your mom is definitely the main one though okay your mother is the main one okay because she didn't want you to uh have love here okay you whenever you wanted to go and be with someone here your mother would deter you in some way shape or form okay yeah with the hangman here she would stop you okay whether you're you know uh, a young adult or in even in your adult life up until now like your mother puts a wedge in between like in your love life okay very weird like weird psychological energy going on here okay she just wants you to stay trapped okay she doesn't want you to know what's going on here because if you start to understand the kind of games that she's been playing with you um she just knows that yeah literally she 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 wants you to be confused about the lovers in your life so that you don't take a chance with any lovers here she wants she even did something with this queen of cups here okay with the lovers in reverse she made sure that this soulmate connection wouldn't happen by keeping you confused in a daze manipulating you okay telling you that you had other options okay she was telling you that an like other options were were better than this queen of cups anyone except this queen of cups okay she wanted you to actually step out on your marriage 
Wow, she wanted you to choose other people besides uh, if you if you were married to this Queen of Cups. Okay, but I said marriage, so you might have been married to this Queen of Cups, but you definitely were in the soulmate connection with this Queen of Cups, okay? And she played a part in breaking y'all up here, okay? Yeah, this, this mother is very manipulative here, okay? Uh, seven of Cups here. This person, she made you believe that this Queen of Cups wasn't, wasn't who she said she was, okay? She convinced you that she's not everything that you wanted in a person. All right. So, yeah. Um, Hierophant, Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, you, you want to be gifted so bad. You want this, you want this Hierophant position. You want to be seen in your community as somebody who is a leader. You know, it could be a spiritual leader, but definitely some sort of leader. Okay, you want gifts. You want to be gifted. You want God to bestow this gift upon you. You're trying really hard. Okay, and you're doing it your way instead of doing it God's way. Okay, and it, your way is not getting you far. You're working really hard. Okay, it's very, very laborious for you. All right, because you want to do it on your timing. Uh, you want to do it your way. You're like, fuck God, whatever, right? With the emperor at the bottom, you are trying to be in control, but you're really not in control. Okay, and God can't gift you. God can't give you what, what uh, you deserve. Okay, in terms of like spiritual gifts, financial gifts. Okay, because you're not moving with God. You're not surrendering here. Okay, you uh, want to be the boss. You want to be seen as somebody in control. Um, but I, God is testing you. That's what I'm getting here. God is testing you. He tested you with this Queen of Cups. Can you handle being a good person to this Queen of Cups? How is God going to give you a leadership position here? Okay, where you are leading a whole community if you couldn't even lead the Queen of Cups. Somebody who was genuine, loving, kind. There couldn't have been an easier person for you to be with. Okay, this person accepted you flaws and all and you still managed. Okay, I'm not trying to judge you or be mean here, but you, but you still managed to like fuck that up. Why would God allow you to lead a whole community? why okay this was your opportunity ace of pentacles god was testing you to see how you would act okay when you were when you were the husband you were the husband of this queen of cups here okay he allowed you to be this queen of cups husband and you fell prey to yourself to entities and to the people around you to your mother your family okay yeah ace of cups you started a new love you started a new beginning um you started a new relationship with someone else when you were already a husband to this queen of cups okay that's not fair all right um yeah so why would why would god give you this new opportunity this new beginning when you still have a lot of transforming to do you still have a lot of learning to do okay you are still at the stage of learning okay you are an apprentice and as much as that might hurt your ego to hear it's just the truth you have to humble yourself and understand that you're still learning you're not you're not a guru all right you're not at the end here all right you're still at the, very much so at the beginning stages all right so we got the six of pentacles to the queen of swords here yeah, you have to find a way. Okay, so this Queen of Cups here, she has her guard up, all right? She's coming out as the Queen of Swords. She has really high standards and boundaries here, okay? And you possibly want to uh, start a new relationship with her, okay? You want to start fresh with this person, all right? When things have already gone to shit. Um, but you have to give, you have to give, okay? Because this Queen of Swords gave you a lot, she gave you a lot in the relationship, 
All right, that's why she's the queen of swords now. She's tired of giving. She's done. Okay? Um, and now that she's this bold, confident, beautiful queen of wands, okay, uh, you want her to give to you again? No, you have to balance out uh, the scales here. You have to balance out what you have to balance out whatever imbalances you caused karmically. Okay, I'm talking about karma um, or even financially too. If there's, um, but mostly karma is what I'm getting here. Okay, if you, um, yeah, this person, this high priestess, this queen of cups, okay, is the high priestess. But also, what I feel is that. Um, God wants to gift you three of wands here. You have gifts coming to you at the distance, okay? High Priestess, you yourself are also very intuitive, very gifted, okay? I knew it. I sensed it, that you're very gifted, okay? You have to have been to be with this Queen of Cups, all right? And I'm talking about spiritually gifted, but they're at a distance, this three of wands here, okay? They're farther down the future, okay? The the sooner you do this transformation and have this rebirth, the sooner you can get to your gifts because your guides are blocking you right now. If they were to open your gifts up to you, okay, would you be able to would you be able to use them for good? No, because you already have not been. Okay, so that's why you're being blocked right now from your gifts. Because God wants you to be at a certain level before you can access your gifts here because you are the high priestess all right you're coming out as the high priestess here yes okay hermit to the sun card here okay what i'm getting is that you need to go within you need to meditate you need to spend some alone time okay i'm not talking about be lonely i'm talking about spend some alone time all right be intentional with with your alone time make sure nobody's around to disturb you this is your time okay this is your moment to heal your trauma so many things are going to be illuminated to you when you are by yourself okay you are, are somebody who's very wise you know what to do okay you know how to heal all right so many things need to be illuminated to you so many things Okay, and you're going to come to realizations once you really spend that alone time, okay? And stop being distracted, all right? You need to calm your distractions down, all right? And really be intentional about going within and being alone. You will be successful, okay? Devil card here, you've been attached, you've been chained, okay, to this entity for a very long time with the Knight of Pentacles here, all right? You're used to being in low vibrational energy all right that's just the truth you're used to being in low vibrational energy but um once you start meditating and really being intentional okay a lot of things will be illuminated to you the path will be illuminated to you and all you have to do is walk through it all right and you will be successful okay you will be successful you are the bearer of light all right, this is giving me like, like Lucifer energy here, Lucifer energy here, and not in like a, not like Lucifer in a bad way, not like low vibrational. I'm talking about, you know, the Baphomet is the bearer of light, okay, illumination, okay, I'm, I'm getting solar plexus, solar plexus chakra work, okay, root chakra work, heart chakra work, crown chakra work. sacral chakra work okay that's definitely what i'm getting here yeah high priestess once again all right you will intuitively know um like what you need to do once you give yourself the time to go within okay hermit mode all right shut off all you know your friends right now look Ain't nobody in your circle, this is what I'm getting, ain't nobody in your circle worth your time right now, okay? Everybody around you is a karmic, period. Everybody's a karmic.
So you don't need to spend any more time, give any more money, give any more energy to any of these people around you, friends, family, I don't care. Like, you you just don't need to be around them anymore. You need to be with yourself. Because you spend all this time with other people, but you're not spending any time with yourself. Okay, and excuse my tone, all right? I'm nobody's mama, but um, I feel this way. I'm acting this way because this is what this is the way your guides feel and are acting, okay? I'm channeling their energy, and their energy is like, hey, you're putting other people first, but you really, you're the most imp important person in your life, and you've been neglecting yourself for so long. This is your time, okay? Because at the end of this, you're gonna be so happy you're gonna be so relieved your heart is gonna be so light you're going to be healed in so many different ways okay you came here to heal your family all right um so yeah you the the plan is unfolding perfectly all right two of wands to the four of pentacles here uh the plan is unfolding perfectly all right so just hold on Hold on for this ride, all right? <laughs> Hold on, okay? Put put your, um, whatever you're doing for work right now, okay? You might be doing spiritual work or might you might be trying to do spiritual work here, all right? That needs to be put on hold because you're not ready. It is part of your... Um, it is part of your contract to do this, okay? But whatever you're doing for for work here or like your purpose, you, you might tr be trying to live in your purpose. You need to put that on hold right now to give yourself time to go within so that when you do come out of that period, you'll be able to fully um, immerse yourself in your role because right now you're not you're not equipped you're not ready okay you're not ready hold off hold off on whatever plans okay you have right now because um if you do continue okay to to work all right whatever it is in your purpose or uh whatever whatever work it is that you're doing here whatever plan you have right now because what i sense is that you have a plan okay a financial plan um it's not gonna go the way that you want all right with the tower here it, it's god isn't gonna allow you to just bypass this healing process okay god wants you to focus on you all right hold on let me turn the light on for a second yeah so god wants you to focus on um what God wants you to focus on, which is your transformation, okay, your rebirth, addressing your traumas and healing through them, okay? Um, so whatever plans you have right now, just put them on hold, okay? Yeah, tower to the emperor here, all right? So I feel like this, this is God right here, the emperor, and God is going to block you okay from from trying to do whatever because god's in control not you all right you have forfeited your control you have shown that you're not ready to you're not ready to take this on by yourself and so now that god is in control all right things are going to be happening in a certain way and you don't get to multitask you don't get to multitask anymore okay <laughs> don't shoot the messenger all right so whatever plans you have keep them keep them there but um yeah you need to walk away you need to walk away from these plans okay whatever you have going on right now and work on balancing yourself okay you need to work on balancing yourself that is your priority at this time okay and God doesn't want you to think about time, how long it's going to take, da 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 No, that doesn't matter, all right? Think about this, Queen of Wands. She is your motivation, okay? Clearing, clearing whatever karma, karmic debt you have with this Queen of Wands, that's your motivation, okay? This beautiful, bold, confident, loving, 
um, woman, okay? That is your motivation. Anything else? Yeah, King of Pentacles, okay? You might or might not be meant to be with this Queen of Wands here, okay? King of Pentacles could be a husband, a father, all right? But definitely the queen, the King of Pentacles, somebody who is financially stable, okay? Somebody who is... Um, Somebody who is mature, stable. I'm I'm just laughing here because this Queen of Wands, now that now that I'm thinking about it, this Queen of Wands might actually be somebody different from this Queen of Cups. Okay, this Queen of Wands might be another soulmate of yours. Alright. If you if you want to be if you want a new person, okay, you might not have a choice. Your cycle with this Queen of Cups might be over and you might um have to move on to a new soulmate but she's definitely she's definitely going to be um you know everything you wanted and more okay but um you're meant to be a stable mature grounded person you're meant to be a great husband you're meant to be uh you know somebody who doesn't cheat somebody who's loyal somebody who's stable okay and you have a lot of financial financial gains to make all right financial stability is waiting for you at the end of this cycle and if god is watching over you during this process and facilitating this process god will not let you um god will not let you go without anything that you need you know what i'm saying like you you will always have everything that you want and need especially for survival okay just surrender you need to surrender okay with this hangman here surrender your soul your physical self your mental self to god all right because god is in control at this moment and all you need to do is focus on your healing okay go within uh, listen to your intuition, listen to your higher self, okay, which requires quiet, okay, nature, go out into nature, but really focus on meditating, okay, and, and being in communication with your ancestors, your guides, all right, but honestly, what I feel like is your ancestors and guides have kind of moved to the side and let God, like God is personally handling your situation here, okay, so um that is that is beautiful god must really love you okay really really love you despite everything you know that's had that's happened in the past despite um some of the things that you've done or experienced god really favors you okay he's whooping your ass because he wants you to get it together all right um yeah and i feel like everything is going to work out perfectly for you all right, so no worries. It might seem really hectic, really dark at this moment, okay? Transformation usually is, okay? Um, but, you know, like, like they say, you've seen the Instagram posts and memes and stuff. You know, seeds get buried in the dark and, this, you know, you might not know that your seed until you know you start to bloom start to sprout you might just see that shit i'm in the dark you know and it might be scary at first but uh we need to learn to face our fears okay we all need that moment life can't just be roses and pretty clouds and green grass like sometimes we need to be in the darkness okay it makes us stronger and you will come out stronger and you you are already successful okay so um i just want to say i love you i believe in you and i appreciate you all right please like comment share subscribe and um just know if i if i received your reading okay your situation is already healed all right, your situation is already on the up and up. All right. So, yeah. I love you all. Thank you. Until next time. Peace.